Oh my gosh, you guys, this actually works. I am so excited to show you my new overhead camera rig. This, uh, it got me so excited when I figured out all these parts to make this thing works. It is so smooth, it stays in place wherever I place it. And this is what helps me get those top-down shots or unboxing, or when I take photos, I can easily take flat lays uh, images. And this is affordable, it's not expensive, it's just a few uh, pieces that I put together that I bought on Amazon. And I am going to show you exactly how this works. And I'm also going to show you that it works with my mirrorless cameras, so not just with the lightweight setup like my phone. But check this out. I can move it from side to side. I can use it up and down. And wherever I place it, it just stays there. And it is so, so smooth and it works so, so well. This makes my life so much easier making those videos. Now, I've tried many, many overhead systems over the years and I was never so impressed with them. They were usually not very strong and I ended up most of the time using a C-stand, which works really, really well, but it is bulky and it is heavy and not so easy to move around. Where this thing is just attached to my desk and it just works. When I do video, I can just put it a little bit higher and it's out of the shot. And then, you know, I can just set it up however I want and just stays there and it works. Now, you might say, okay, Skylar, well, this is just an iPhone setup. It's a very light setup, so of course you will hold it. But what about a bigger camera? Well, I'm going to show you that this thing works not just with an iPhone, it works with cameras as well. So let's see. What will I use first? First, I will try it with my uh, Sony uh, 7R. I need a plate for that. And then we'll break down this whole system and I will show you every single part, what it is, how I put it together and how I made it work. I am so proud of this new system I put together because it just works so, so well. So here is my uh, Sony A7R with a 35 millimeter lens. So if I set this one in here, there you go. As you can see, this has no problem holding it at all. Whatever place I put it, it just stays there. So small mirrorless, no problem. Now you might ask, Skylar, great, that is a small mirrorless, but what if you have a bigger camera? Well, let's try this with the Sony A1. So I'm gonna steal the same plate from this one and put it on my A1. And this is a Sony A1 with a smaller lens. I don't think it will hold very well at 24 to 105 or something. I have not tried it. Maybe we should try it. But this is a 28 millimeter lens with the Sony A1 and let's see how it does. There you go, Sony A1 in place. As you can see, it can hold a bigger camera setup with no problem. Now, like I said, I have not tried with a big, bulky, heavy lens, but with a smaller lens, it holds it with no problem. So what is this setup? Let's take it apart and I will show you every single part and then uh, we'll see how it works. So let's see what I use to put this thing together. The first piece is this piece, and this is a microphone boom arm. This is the Rode PSA-1. I've used this one since I started my YouTube channel. It holds my microphone at my desk, and it's been working great with it. When you buy it in the box, you get this piece. Then you get this piece that attaches to your desk, like, like this. Then it also has like a little adapter for attaching your microphone. I do not use that. And then it comes with this other piece over here. This is if you wanna drill a hole onto your desk and attach it to your desk that way. I do not recommend doing that. So I've never used these things. But the, part, the two parts that comes in the box we will use is this part and then the boom arm itself. 
So how do we attach it? Well, first we attach this thing to the desk. So I'll just clamp it right here onto the desk. Really, really easy to do. There you go. And then once you clamp that to the desk, the next thing you need to do is just place this, this um, pole into the hole here. And there you go. Your boom arm is attached. Now, what do I attach on the end of the boom arm? I have a tripod ball head. This is the Vanguard Alta BH100. These tripod heads, they come in three sizes. This is the smallest one, and it works really, really well with this rig. I have all three of them, and I recommend them. They are really great um, tripod heads. And I will show you why I chose this one for this rig. So the boom arm has a 3 8 um, screw in here so the tripod head will just screw right into it it doesn't need any adapters or anything it just works so there you go nice and tight and there you have it the boom arm has two knobs over here you can tighten those if you want to make sure it doesn't move and then to attach my phone i will show you what i have is this thing over here i don't know if you can see it in the camera but this is the peak design creator kit and this peak design creator kit works perfectly with their peak design everyday case they have this magnet um, safe lock it's not just magnets it actually connects as a magnet but then to release it you have to actually push the button to release it so you know it's very very safe it's made to work on your tripod it works with your tripod it has an arca swiss plate and I just love it for this device. You don't need to have this big design case and you know the attachment. You can use a Ulanzi phone holder or whatever you want that you can attach your phone onto the ball head. So, but because I have this big design case and I do have this attachment, which I love, I will make a review on it soon. This connects really, really easily, just like that with magnets. If I need to move it into portrait orientation i can do so just like that it connects in which way direction you want so i'm going to clamp this because it's an arca swiss uh, plate i'm just going to clamp it into my tripod head and then my phone will just go in there and then i have my ball head so i make sure that this is parallel to my table something like that and there you go this is our system all put together and this latch will also allow me to shoot a portrait orientation if i need to do so like this and you see how easy that is so that's why i am loving this system and i just wanted to share with you because maybe you are on the lookout for something like this and uh, this will make your life easier now of course if you're using a camera and you do not use a iphone you can just use the tripod ball head with the plate and attach your camera directly and that will work just as well. Now, of course, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.